Well, I got a bunch of people interested in this dog box and I'd like to get it out of here because it's heavy and it's taking up a lot of room and it's kind of uh, screwing up my progress on the shop. So let's clean this thing off. And I got one little problem with it. A couple of people have asked, does that lock work? And the lock works if I had the key. So I don't have the key. So <laughs> we're going to have to do something about that lock. And it's a weird lock. And I'll explain when we get to it. Let's clean this top off and and uh, get, get these pipe clamps out of here. And we'll open up this drawer. Right, that's the lock right there. Now you can see that's not the typical lock. That's kind of a typical lock right there. See how long this cylinder is? It's way out here. Now I don't have a I don't have a lock like this. But uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify this whole contraption here so that I can use this small one. So let's get this thing out of here and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Looks like it's gonna come out. That's nice. So this lock is right there. Just a cabinet lock. Defender security. That name, Defender Security. I don't understand that. The Defender Security would, sounds like it would be a lock on a lock. This is the Defender for your security. I take this apart on camera because um, I'd like to be able to put it back together correctly. Jesus. <laughs> I hope the camera caught that. So, what we need to do is. this thing out. It gave us a whole bunch of parts here. This is nice. All these extra parts. Oh, this is really interesting, actually. I wonder if we can just... Okay, let's, we're gonna try that one. That one, if not, maybe we'll make a make one. But let's cut this thing out with the greatest tool on the planet. Oh, 
Okay. I'm just gonna have to just tap this in. I guess I should have pointed out that washer is like this. So that washer is like this. See how it's got pins on it? This is the old one. Okay. This is definitely tricky to get in. Okay. We've got to close this up. All right. Oh, no. It hits it. By how much, I'm not completely sure, but it hits it. I don't want to screw up the lock either, but... I mean, I just touched that. Okay, what's actually happening here is, is that it's hitting on this piece because you see when this turns, this point is getting a lot higher and that's actually hitting um, the, the part above it. This clears it. So what we need to do is it needs to be bent like right after this screw. Probably only get one or two bends out of this thing until it breaks. Because obviously this is just crap metal. Well, that's worth a try right there. So we're actually further away than we were before. And now the reason is, is because now this is hitting. I don't know if this is gonna hit yet because we can't get past this part. So let's bend this out. All right, yeah. So right now we should be able to lock this thing. And not lock it, but turn it all the way. If it hits, then we got a major problem. Yeah, so... So that, that would be locked right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend it here. And we're just going to keep on bending it until this door stays. It doesn't move at all. Because... At some point in time, we're going to bend it, and the door is the drawer is going to open like this much. We don't want that. We want it to be tight. chintzy but that's it I think that if we bend it another hair I can't believe I'm saying this but if we bend it if we bend this another hair it'll just feel a little little tighter
good trick on stapling carpet. Staples, spray paint them to match the carpet. Okay, well, this thing seems like it's fixed up all right. This is an oldie, this box. Uh, this The company is called Uplander. I think they might be still around. This is the, I think this is the biggest box they make as far as dimensions are concerned. I assume they make a three-hole box. This is a two-hole, clearly. This is one, two. It's got the drawer. I bet you they make a three-hole box for maybe like rabbit dogs, and they got a drawer. So it's the same size box, but with three holes. I assume they make that, but yeah, this thing is big. It's 48 inches wide. You can't make a box bigger than 48 usually. I mean, you can, but it's 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 a very special to custom box. You want to be able to slide it between the wheel wells. It's 36 inches deep and 33 inches high. It's a monster. It's a metal covering plywood, which is kind of the ideal box for a northeast or even just a just a north box period because the plywood on the inside, the hole is made out of plywood. It, it means that it's going to be cool in the summer and warm in the winter, as opposed to a dog sitting on just, say, like an aluminum box. That's going to be freaking hot in the summer and, and, and cold in the winter, and you don't, you don't want that. It's like leather interior. So the trade-off is, is that it's really heavy, but it's better for the dogs, for sure. And these doors are... You can take this off. This is a, called the cold weather door got the bars on the inside so you take it you take this off in the summertime and it's, it's just a good box but I don't need it anymore I just I have so many boxes now so this one's got to go and we're about seven days out of out of hunting season so I assume that uh, someone's gonna come along I mean we already have like three or four people asking me questions about it and so uh, I would assume as we get closer to October 1st this thing will be gone so it's all fixed up nice, the locks are looking good, and the carpet is looking good now. I changed that carpet, which is good. Cleaned it with some bleach, and that's it. All right, everyone, catch you later.